It's Wednesday the 3rd of November 2021 and this upload and share is for the attention of the um, attendees and group representatives and facilitators at the COP26 um, meeting and the G20 group also um, that I've emailed earlier this week. This upload is with regard to the ongoing matter of human rights abuses that I've been experiencing as a mother since I gave birth in my home country and the offences that have been caused against my royal marriage, my matrimony and my nuptials and the issue of individuals that have been really disrespectful to my child and my marital and ancestral home and farm holdings. There has been a lot of problems caused in my community in Tralee County Kerry and um, I'm really concerned with regard to the societal obstacles that have been put in good-natured, well-intended um, adults and human beings that would not condone in any way the very serious wrongdoings that I'm intolerably tolerating. Um, the conditions that I'm tolerating are quite offensive to medicine and science. Um, there have been individuals that have not been exactly ethical and that haven't been exactly um, respectful of faith and haven't been respectful of sacred when damaging my sacred light body um, since 2016 and damaged not only my light body but nature and wildlife also. The ozone and atmosphere of my community has been damaged, um, nature and wildlife has been affected and it has all arisen and originated with very dangerous damages to my sacred light. Um, there was no consent, there was no legality, there was no mutuality, there was no, it was just a violent spiritual assault against my sacred royal light body. So the individuals that have been in this community taking liberties, obstructing justice since 2016-2017 that also involves the unlawful care order of my beautiful child that I gave birth to within wedlock in 2015 that is without his parents and that isn't in his home is also another very serious issue for women and children's rights. So there are people in this community that are disrespecting civil liberties and that are liable and liabilities to human rights since 2017 before COVID. Um, as I've mentioned, my humanitarian endeavours have been quite successful at home and abroad and my work has affected legislation. Now, there's a very serious issue with individuals that have been violating not only my royal title, disrespecting my royal title, violating my constitutional rights, violating my human rights and basically um, helping themselves to my fortunes. Um, these people have not acted professionally, responsibly, they have not been politically correct, um, they have not had um, a proper communication process. These people have helped themselves to private information and we all know about COVID and the factors in COVID experience that um, places a high value on people's privacy and information and this is happening in Tralee County Kerry where there are individuals accessing by unethical means personal information of Maria McElligot here in this upload and being quite cheeky and incredulous with exacerbating their damages that they've already caused to my baby boy since 2017. Now, there haven't been any supports from the state agencies, unfortunately. As I've mentioned, there have been societal obstacles. So these matters that I'm raising in all of these uploads and what I have titled, entitled the Sad Sign of the Times um, affects not only women and children's rights, it affects climate change. The ozone layer of this community has been damaged. Climate change has been affected since my light body was damaged in 2017. And there has been no response or obligations met by the government and they have obligations to my royal bloodline. Now there are individuals that are being quite cheeky, intruding and imposing and involving themselves in negotiations about 
a royal title of Maria McElligot here in this upload. I'm of humanitarian protection since 2006. Um, I have worked with the President's Office, I have worked with young people and um, I have successfully um, achieved positive change and developments in society with regard to health, well-being, um, a variety of topics. Um, as a recovery advocate since 2006, I represent sanity and sobriety. And what I'm tolerating is insanity. So there are political leaders that are aware of the damages that I've unduly experienced and they've been quite disrespectful to my bloodline and they've been quite disrespectful to the upbringing of my child and they've been quite disrespectful to the um, positive change that I set about in this country and abroad in 2018 that other individuals have not been a part of and that are not in a position to be taking credit for. Now the individuals that have damaged wildlife and nature and climate change since damaging my sacred light body in 2017 with their unethical practices while also being a financial theft and repeat financial fraudulence are all issues that I'm contending with and hoping that the relevant agencies will duly address as soon as possible due to the nature of the insanity that these people are representing in society unfortunately. So the abode where I'm at has been disrespected. The environment and climate of my apartment where I'm living, my farm holdings have been disrespected also since 2017, 2018. And um, it's human rights that are to be prioritised, not people's uh, mercurial acquisitions that affect women and children's rights. So as an educator with a very clean track record experience in slander, I'd appreciate those of COP26 contacting me personally with regard to the incompetence and incredulous, intolerable uh, discourtesy I'm tolerating as a married mother um, whose matrimony has been disrespected very severely and whose only child has been also severely disrespected. The ombudsman that I've contacted since 2017, I'm still awaiting in Trilly County Kerry. So that's quite serious, it's 2021. So the obligations of the government to my royal title are another issue and those intruding that have no right to discuss my position in society um, would be kindly advised to understand the remit um, of this circumstance and the issue of royal patronage that is being disrespected by um, intolerable behaviour. So I would hope that the democracy will respect its country's royal patronage of this person, Maria McElligot, and um, I'd appreciate um, acknowledgement and a bit of responsible behaviour um, to set a good example to young people. Um, as I've mentioned, wildlife, nature, legislation, um, all arisen and health care legislation, all arising from uh, damages to my sacred light body in 2017. So I'd appreciate as soon as possible the uh, relevant state agencies and state bodies um, furnishing um, this situation with positive and professional and courteous, considerate um, developments and the liabilities in society that are threatening um, human rights to be curtailed and the relevant state agencies and bodies just being fully aware of um, the harms that are being caused unduly due to those that are obstructing um, civil liberties and civil society and um, the proper procedures that are required for this COVID experience that originated from my humanitarian endeavours in 2018. So um, after all my good work I'd appreciate, appreciate a little bit of um, proper professionalism, would be really considerate and um, really um, outstanding and respectful to courage and bravery, um, which has also had a role to play um, in my humanitarian endeavours, not only since 2006, but um, more recently again, since 2017, 2018. So I'd appreciate the Honourable Government um, at this stage of the day in 2021, um, fulfilling its obligations to my position, role and function and title in society. 
and I would like to um, acknowledge the good efforts of the representatives of COP26 in their endeavours also with climate change and such and so and positive progress in the world. So um, that's my upload for today and um, I'd appreciate prompt acknowledgement after four years waiting for the Ombudsman since 2017.